obviously a bizarre week, uh, Andrea, in so many ways. But I want to uh, go because what I think could have been the story of the week was this unbelievable editorial board interview that Donald Trump did with the Washington Post. Let me play a longer excerpt of it and get you to respond. If you could uh, substantially reduce the risk of harm to ground troops, would you use a battlefield nuclear weapon to take out ISIS? I, I don't want to use, I don't want to start the process of nuclear. Remember, one thing that everybody has said, I'm a counterpuncher. Rubio hit me, Bush hit me. When I said low energy, he's a low energy individual. He hit me first. Spent, by the way, spent $18 million worth of negative ads on me. That's pitting, that's pitting. No, but this was about ISIS. ISIS. You would not by use way, a tactical I do one nuclear thing? weapon against this, ISIS. This is a very good looking group of people. Could, could I just go around the, so I know who the hell I'm talking sure, about? Sure. By the way, just so folks know, and when he excerpted this, so then everybody around the room introduced themselves, subject got changed. Exactly. I mean, he cannot stick to a subject. It is remarkable. And when he doesn't know something, he just changes the subject, makes it all about himself. national security, it's a very noticeable, especially to your ears and mine. Absolutely. And this was a week where he could have gone after President Obama, arguably. Mm. There's a lot happening, and the president has some vulnerabilities. So does Hillary Clinton. But instead, he's all over the lot. And then the New York Times, David Sanger and Maggie Haberman, do an interview with him, a 90-minute interview, and it's in today's paper and online. And the transcript, if you read the transcript online, he would cancel defense treaties with Japan and South Korea against mm -hmm. North Korea. He doesn't mind he would be OK if Japan and South Korea go nuclear. American policy right. for decades since World War II has been trying to keep nukes out of that, that arena. He would stop importing oil from yeah. Saudi Arabia if they don't pay more for their defense. We need oil. We are not in right. energy independent. We rely on oil still sure. uh, for our daily needs. He is completely all over the lot. On Iran, he, he believes, he complained that Iran isn't buying our planes. It had to be pointed out to him that Iran is still under sanctions and cannot buy American planes. He thinks North Korea and Iran are the biggest trading partners when North Korea's biggest trading partner is China. He is completely uneducated about any Katie, part of the world. And Katie, it is clear. Look, you cover this campaign every day. There isn't a big team around them, is there? There is no, you don't see no. these foreign policy advisors, and I know now he's telling the Times, well, some of them are under contracts on television. As he told, told me first, the, he, he learns a lot of things from the shows, and I guess he's going to hire a foreign policy team based on people that are, uh, 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 that are appearing on various... But you don't see them out with Donald Trump at all, and we're not seeing them very much on the TV circuit, as you mentioned. Uh, it's unclear how many conversations he's had with them. We've made phone calls to all of these people. Very few of them have gotten back to us and given us a fleshed-out idea of, of what is going on. And how he, how I, and he how learns. He, and how he learns yeah. and whether he's taking it all in. I, I dare say that that Washington Post audio uh, excerpt will come back to haunt him in the general election, especially if he's going up against somebody like Hillary Clinton, who is so well-versed when it comes to foreign policy. The other thing that really struck out at me was that he didn't understand the function of U.S. bases around the world, the exactly. basic fun function of why they are there. And these are things that, when they get fleshed out, right. could could hurt him. The question is, will he be able to change the conversation as he's been doing this entire time? Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.